Lo and behold, it looks like another major hurricane is anticipated to form here in the Atlantic. It'll get pretty close to some areas, and what exactly are they will be coming up. Alrighty, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Nate. And welcome back to another weather forecast discussion, this time for September 4th, 2023. Now, fortunately enough, a whole lot of activity has kind of quieted down for a little bit, but it's not anticipated to quiet down for that much longer, as over the next two days, we are anticipating another storm to try and form, and this will likely become a major hurricane. We can see here, as we look at our current map, we have this giant red area right here with a formation chance of about 90% over the next 48 hours, and of course, near 100% over the next seven days. This will be designated as Invest 95L. And so as we talk about 95L, continue to realize, and don't be surprised if this thing is called Tropical System Lee, L-E-E, -E, here in the future. Meanwhile, we also have Katia, which is currently off the coast of Africa in the middle of the water, and Gert recently just dissipated. That'll start to kind of move out of the way. And then we finally have another wave that is going to move off of Africa here pretty soon that probably will form into a tropical system but fortunately that'll stay out to sea and then last but not least areas for people over there in portions of Portugal and Spain I'm not sure if any of you guys are gonna be watching my video here or not but there is a system that's gonna be moving over there it could create some strong damaging winds regardless if it becomes tropical or not but we'll take a look at the satellite imagery here to kind of show you guys what I mean there is GERT GERT has actually merged with former Hurricane Idalia, and that is going to actually create some conditions over here in the northeast as well as into portions of eastern Canada. Pretty gusty, maybe some flash floods possible, but it is no longer tropical. Even though it is spinning like a low pressure would, there is absolutely no showers and thunderstorms that are near the center of low pressure, which means this thing is no longer tropical whatsoever. We also have Katia, which is all the way over here on the eastern side, and then there is Invest 95L. Once again, don't be surprised if that is called Lee here very soon. Now we'll take a look at the satellite imagery and right now, though it looks like this thing is trying to swirl, it isn't really doing a great job of it because what you would usually want to try and find is somewhere where those winds can actually curl back towards the middle. That's not happening here. And the reason why I can see that is because these storms that are forming right here, they are actually moving very far off towards the south and west which means that we don't really have a little bit of a curve. It's more of kind of this troughing that is aligning on the side, and it is kind of just looping over that giant line. So uh, nothing really too tropical as of right now, but we are anticipating sooner rather than later for some of these thunderstorms to start to kind of wrap back in and try to form a center area of low pressure within the middle of this troughing. We can show you here with the satellite data, this is the ASCAT scan that uh, shows the winds that are here at the surface and this tells you exactly that though they kind of went through the middle of the system you can see a lot of these wind barbs that are really forcing its way down south and we don't really start to see a whole lot of curving until we get towards the bottom part so this is really once again kind of a trough that is kind of aligning in kind of a side to side uh, southwest to northeast orientation and until we can start to see some of these winds start to really wrap around here on the side we're going to continue to see this up until a couple days from now but the one thing that this has not lacked at all is the abundance of thunderstorms and we can take a look at our microwave imagery here which perfectly illustrates that all this red and green is thunderstorm activity for the most part red is more intense of course and you can see there's an abundance of thunderstorms which really is trying to kind of close out a lot of the dry air that is in that area so something to kind of note this thing is going to continue to try and build more and more showers and thunderstorms to really kind of close itself off from the environment around it and really try and take advantage now we're going to take a look at something called the GEPS ensemble member contours this is going to take a look at all sorts of different opinions from this singular model and we're going to try and see as to what the uh possibilities could potentially be from this storm so we'll play it out through you can see there is invest 95 l at some time from wednesday into thursday uh, maybe even a little bit earlier than that that's when this thing is going to start to become tropical storm uh, probably lee probably lee is what it will be and it'll get very very close to the northern portions of the lesser antilles you can see as this continues to move about over time you can see some model members think that it's going to be very very close a very close call for areas over there in the 
lesser Antilles, especially in the northern portion of it. There's also some model members that think that it could potentially be a little bit further north. And then as this continues to move about, you can start to see that the ensemble members start to become a little bit widespread. We have a general consensus that it could potentially be heading in towards Bermuda, but there's also some other model members that are either lagging behind or moving a little bit further off towards the west and towards the Bahamas. So definitely something to kind of watch as to how these models really haven't gotten a complete grasp as to where this thing could potentially go as of right now. But the one thing that it is very certain is that this thing will more than likely become a major hurricane. We'll take a look at the EPS model ensemble members here and we'll tie, you know, you can kind of see the same exact thing. Things start to really form out north of the Lesser Antilles and then things start to become widespread on its own. Look at how far in regards to where this system could go. It could be as far north as Bermuda, it could be far south as the Bahamas here. And so the inconsistency here really shows, but the one thing about this model is that it does show that a lot of them stay out to sea. There are a couple though that get pretty close to the coastline and that's gonna be something to watch out for. But the one thing that is consistent from both of these ensemble models is that sometime around Friday into Saturday is when this thing will get very close to the Lesser Antilles and start to make its way closer and closer towards the Bahamas or Bermuda. But I think the one thing that's going to be pretty consistent is we know that this thing is going to become a major hurricane because we'll show you that there isn't going to really be a whole lot of wind shear over the system and that there is going to be an abundance of something called the ocean heat content. The upper ocean heat content here shows you how much heat is actually present is actually present here in the ocean. So the more ocean heat content that there is available, the more energy for a tropical system to take advantage of and potentially rapidly intensify. And of course, if you start to cut out a lot of the dry air and a lot of the wind shear, things can get really, really intense very quickly. So when we take a look at how this thing is being steered, you can understand as to why we think this is going to be a major hurricane. And the main reason is there's a high pressure system that's currently centralized over the Atlantic, and this is gonna create a lot of clockwise flow. And so with this creating a lot of clockwise flow, this system, Invest 95L, is going to head into the general vicinity of the Lesser Antilles. But the interesting thing here is that this actually gets pulled a little bit further towards the northwest because once you start to get on that bottom left-hand corner of this high, this thing is going to want to start to curl and the shear starts to turn a little bit more. And so this is going to try and steer a little bit to the north of the Lesser Antilles. And depending upon where this thing forms on that trough can determine as to how close it actually gets. So areas over here in the northern Lesser Antilles are going to really want to watch to see how close this thing gets. And uh, depending upon what happens over the next couple of days, you guys might have your answer as to what type of impacts you guys might be able to see. And this is going to continue to move across and move to the north of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. But this is where stuff really starts to get interesting because as we take a look now at the 200 millibar wind shear, we can see that this thing is encountering little to no shear across its journey over towards the Lesser Antilles. But as this gets closer and closer, we have an upper level trough that is going to continue to try and sit over the southeastern United States. And this is going to continue to be the case, which is also going to be the reason as to why this is going to aid a little bit more of a turn towards the north. A lot of this flow from this trough is actually going to nudge it a little bit further. But the interesting thing about this upper level trough is how far east does it extend? Will this thing move a little bit further off towards the east, like what the Euro is going to show? So watch. This thing continues on its trajectory. It's still going to try and head off towards the north and west as a potential Category 5 hurricane, according to this model. But then this trough goes very far out in towards the water, and it actually pushes this system a lot further towards Bermuda. Whereas if we take a look at the GFS, the system is a lot further towards the west, and the trough is also a lot further towards the west. It's actually over here into the Great Lakes. So depending upon how quickly this trough actually moves on through can actually determine as to how far west this system actually gets. And that's going to be our main question as we get closer and closer towards this thing moving towards the United States. So we're going to keep you guys updated as to how this trough is going to eject through. 
but honestly, that's going to be the main thing from preventing this system or determining as to whether this system could actually hit the United States or not. So sometime around the middle of next week, we're probably talking the 13th, 14th, and 15th is when this thing could potentially make its move, whether it'll move further off towards the west or further off to the east. When that trough will be moving on through, that is exactly what we're going to want to watch out for. Regardless, I want to mention that this thing is going to be a major hurricane. We can take a look at the tracks here from the GEFS model. The Euro said that it could potentially be an upwards of a Cat 4 to a Cat 5. I'm not sure uh, because once we get that far out ahead of time, it starts to get pretty inconsistent. But I do know this. Conditions are very favorable. There is little to barely anything that is going to prevent this thing from intensifying. And the models are saying that this is going to rapidly intensify into a significant storm. We even have some colors in the lavender and even below the lavender, which means that this could be upwards of a category four to maybe a category five. So depending upon where this thing goes, you can see how the spaghetti models go a little bit south. They go a little bit north. We will have to see, and we're going to continue to update you guys starting from Wednesday and onwards. Starting on Wednesday, we're going to be doing daily uploads from then and onwards. We're going to be activating storm mode here on the channel, so that way you guys can get daily updates as to what exactly Invest 95L is going to do. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave the like, subscribe if you are new, turn on notifications, share this with friends and family on social media, also follow me on social media, link will be in the description down below. Continue to stay safe everyone as the system is anticipated to start to become rather significant into the next 24 and 48 hours, and then of course it's going to take a further leap of faith as we continue to move on towards the latter stages of this week so once again thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time peace out